Greetings, everyone. So today we're gonna take a tour of the 2023 Flagstaff 19 FDS. This is a Flagstaff E-Pro. So their E-Pros are lighter, they've got bigger tires, they're like their adventure series. So you're looking at, when I talk light, you're looking at 3,500 pounds uh, with a length of 20 feet, two inches. So I'll give you the full picture here. Some of the features that we've got here on the outside, we do have an outside griddle, which is super, super nice. You are ground solar prepped. You do also have 200 watt solar on the roof. I have a hard time saying roof. I always wanna say roof. Roof, um, fiberglass body. You are looking at six-sided aluminum cage construction, and that is vacuum laminated roof and walls on this camper. So you don't have to worry about delamination. As long as, just with anything else, you take care of your maintenance and you have your roof seals checked and all that good stuff. You can't just leave it forever. It also features uh, torsion axles in this, which is not something you get a lot in campers. A lot of times you get the leaf axles, Look that up if you want. There's like a whole debate on whether people say this one's better or this one's better. Um, I can definitely tell you that they are said to be less bumpy and they're going to have less maintenance because they have fewer moving parts. So that's touted as a feature. Like I said, there's a whole debate out there on who likes what. I'd love for you guys or gals or whoever that's more experienced with it to leave me a comment down below and let me know which one you prefer and why. You do have a powered tongue jack on this, as well as a bike rack, which is pretty cool. Show you the front of the camper, that front glass is sharp. I think they did a really nice job on the graphics and stuff on this unit. You do have manual stabilizer jacks. I've never had a problem with those. I see people in the campgrounds that bring their drills and they actually put those down faster than I do my electric stabilizer jacks. So. I don't see a problem with them. You have some storage back here at the back. If we can get this open. And if I can get around to the other side, I'll show you that. You do have a ladder on the back, so it's a fully walkable roof, meaning you can get up there, clean it, maintain it, do whatever you need to up there. You can see the AC system right there. This is a 13,500 BTU AC. It does also have a... 20,000 BTU furnace. Yeah, I can't get to that one very well, but you have some storage there and there's actually storage up at the front also. Nice big powered awning with LED lights. You can see the lights are on right now. Back up and show you that. You do have outside speakers, so you can play those outside speakers or your inside speakers or both. So let's take a look on the inside. You have your sofa right here as you come in nice big large sofa and this is a murphy bed unit so there's your murphy bed right back there so you've got storage on both sides which would i would traditionally call the his and hers closets because when the bed's down that's what they are nightstands on both sides you do have charging there so you're not gonna have a problem with your electronic devices your cpap machines so on and so forth refrigerator and actually, you have a ton of space in this little refrigerator. Way bigger than what I would call like a dorm style. you got plenty of room in there. Three burner stove with the glass top that's going to serve as a backsplash. But it's also a serving slash prep space when you're uh, not cooking. Microwave. You've got a nice stainless steel sink in here. I love these little rolling things. I want one for my camper. And they kind of stick as you roll love these things uh charging back here so whatever uh kitchen appliances there's where i was gonna say utilities kitchen appliances you need you can plug in right back there some storage down below you do have a booth in this that also features additional sleeping so you've got a couple of people here on the murphy bed someone there so this is a family camper if you want it to be because you and your kids could go travel in it Storage up above there, and then right back there is where our TV's mounted. So if we have the bathroom door closed, you see everybody can sit there and watch TV. There is ample room in here in the event 
that uh, it's raining kind of like it is today here and you just can't get outside. There's plenty of room for the family to hang out in here. A uh, couple other things, roller shades on the windows and that is a 12 volt refrigerator. So that will operate off of your battery and subsequently your solar that's up on top, which is super, super nice. Uh, what else am I missing here? Oh, bathroom. Kind of got to show you that, don't I? So we've got the bathroom here. We have a stand-up shower that is actually really tall. It's got a little moon roof in the top. I'm six foot. I can fit in there no problem at all. You've got a cabinet here for like medicine stuff, uh, toiletries. And speaking of toiletries, toilet sink with storage below the sink as well as a dual medicine cabinet in here and a nice big fan to pull out humidity and stinkies. So here you are, you can see, you also have, I do want to point out, it is a smaller unit, but you do have a domed ceiling in here, which is really nice because it just makes it feel bigger in here. And like I said, for only 20 feet and 5,000 pounds, you're looking at a lot of space and a lot of amenities. Price-wise, we're looking at the retail price of 37,481, our price of $26,999, so you're saving $10,482 on this camper. As always, if you have any questions, I missed anything, or there's anything else you would like to see, please, by all means, drop a comment. I would be more than happy to shoot it for you. Have a fantastic day.